Hi, I'm Bob. From today, we will discuss demand and supply. Demand and supply are the forces that make the market economies work. They determine the quantity of each good consumed and produced, and the price at which it is sold. In this video, we will first discuss the demand. The quantity demanded of any good is the amount of the good that consumers are willing and able to purchase. First, consumers must have a desire to buy, and second, they could afford it. For example, I bought ice cream yesterday. I showed my willingness and desire to buy ice cream by driving to the supermarket. I not only have an intention to buy the ice cream, but also have the ability to purchase it. I bring enough money with me. I make the purchase, and that purchase is classified as demand. Intention and ability are the two elements of demand. Even if there's no stock available of the ice cream I would like to purchase in that supermarket, it is still considered demand in economics as long as I have the intention to buy it and I could afford it. Demand is the behavior of consumers who are willing and able to purchase certain goods or services. Manufacturers affect the quantity demanded by consumers, such as the price of the good, income of consumers, and the tastes of consumers. Among them, the price of the good plays a central role in the quantity demanded of that good. The demand curve shows the relationship between price and quantity demanded holding other factors constant. It illustrates how the quantity demanded of the good changes as its price varies. The demand curve slows downward because, other things being equal, a low price means a greater quantity demanded. A change in price causes a movement along the demand curve. Take the ice cream as an example. When its price decreases from $2 to $1.5, I increase my purchase from 4 to 6 If the price continues to drop, I will buy more and more ice cream. This relationship between price and quantity demanded is true for most goods in the economy and is so pervasive that economists call it the law of demand. Other things being equal, when the price of a good rises, the quantity demanded of the good falls. And when the price falls, the quantity demanded rises. The law of demand implies that the slope of the demand curve is negative. Why do people buy more of a good when its price decreases? There are two effects of the price decrease the drop in the price of the ice cream I would like to purchase means that it is relatively cheaper than the other brands of ice cream or other substitutes that give me similar satisfaction. It is cheaper relative to other substitutes, so I purchase more of it. It is called the substitution effect of the price change on demand. Another effect is the income effect, because my purchasing power has increased. Remember that income is held constant, and the price drop means I can afford more goods. It is equivalent to an increase in my income, and I have the ability to buy more goods. So it is called the income effect. The substitution effect and income effect of the price change are the mechanisms behind the law of demand. Finally, let me show you how to derive the market demand curve from individual demands. We horizontally add up 
or the individual demand curves to obtain the market demand curve. The total quantity demanded at a given price is the sum of the quantity each consumer demands at that price. As shown in the graph, at the price of $2, the first consumer's demand is 4, and the second consumer's demand is 3. The quantity demanded in the market at this price is 7. We can find the total quantity demanded for each price level and draw the market demand for ice cream. All the individual demands are summed up horizontally to obtain the market demand. When we analyze the supply and demand models, we usually mean the market demand. But we should understand that the market demand is made up of individual demands. Thank you for watching this video and subscribing to my YouTube channel. See you next time.